Okay, okay. <laughs> because golden hour is going international. So now we're doing doing. We're doing. We're doing. We're doing. <laughs> we are doing this episode in English. So uh, you need to to speak English. Okay. Okay. So yeah. let's do it one more time. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So I, I pretend to look at my phone click. and then you come in. Click. Click. Okay. Yeah, yeah, shut. Oh. <laughs> From Focus Nordic. Okay. Can I open? Can I can I open it? Yes. <laughs> can I can I can I open it? Yes. <laughs> Exciting, and I don't have any clue what's inside. It's Elin who has made the order <laughs> together with the pad at Focus Nordic. Yes. Okay. Okay. I also want so to excited. open it. No, it's. it's Ultrasonic silent silent drive vibration compensation. That's really good. So that's build stabilizato in English if uh, you Swedish don't understand. And uh, <laughs> E-band coating. Okay. This will be interesting. Oh, it's not heavy. It's wow. like my 85. Yeah. It's really it's light. Cool. I'm really shocked because it's not heavy. It's heavy, I mean, yeah. but not that heavy. <laughs> but I'm very strong lady. <laughs> Hello. I am nature photographer Uwe, going to Iceland. This is the Uwe lens. Yeah. In Sweden we, we have an um, old man, um, typical name Uwe. He photographed birds and... Um, in Sweden. In Sweden. Sweden. We yeah. have. We have. But also, what do you Uwe. Typical, <laughs> typical photographer man in Sweden. And he would wear a green vest and photograph birds with this kind of lens. When du hittar på så han heter Ove. Yes, there is no Ove. <laughs> but it's a typical name. You can call him Lars också. Yeah. Also. Men, men... <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, so what am I supposed to photograph with this? <laughs> Not birds! Please birds. don't say no! Birds. Not birds! No! <laughs> okay, but I it's suppose... Birds. If, if I'm going to make this challenge, I suppose Iceland is a good place. Yes, it is. To take the pictures. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Let's continue. We have a gorilla pod. <laughs> <laughs> gorilla pod. Oh, it's for, it's for DC, DC, DSLR. 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 It's for the heavy cameras. I have this for my small camera. And you can... Uh, Mount it to a tree or to a horse, yeah. maybe. Icelandic horse. Yes. <laughs> Excuse me, can I put this on your head? <laughs> okay, then we have something I like very much. <laughs> oh my! Wow. It's from Love Pro and it's spectacular. Yeah. We <laughs> are going to fly a drone. So, this is Love Pro's drone bag. So, you can store your drone and then you can walk. Where the heck you want? Oh my god. Okay, so this is like extra. This is, feel it. It's like I'm, uh, in, I'm in military. Yeah. Ooh, you are active zone. Yeah. Drone guard BP 450 yeah. AV. To your rescue. This, Uwe likes this very much actually. Yeah, whoa. Uwe. Oh. Cool. <laughs> Show it. Nice. Okay, this will be exciting. Yes. But I've watched you and Olson's vlogs, so <laughs> I have some kind of experience. <laughs> no, I don't. So I will put this here and I will ski down the mountain like you and Olson, because that's what Swedes do. 
Unfortunately, Elin is not coming with me to mm. Iceland because she's going to Visby instead. But she will be back at season two. So this is just extra episodes with yeah. me on Iceland. Yes. And we will be back. And season two will actually be recorded in Sweden. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so season two will be recorded in Sweden. Yay! And she will be back then. Yes. So if you miss her, miss don't her miss too me, much. Don't miss me, don't miss me, Yeah, so day, day by day. Welcome to the episode Emily on Iceland. This is a special edition when I'm traveling in the south part of Iceland with my assistant Caroline. This episode is about my best tips when you're traveling in the south part of Iceland. This is also in collaboration with Focus Nordic and we have borrowed all the products from them to show you in these recordings. So this episode will be about my best Iceland tips. The one after that that will launch next Friday will be two maternity shoots on Iceland. And the one after that, the Friday after, will be an inspirational episode about success, fear and everything between. I will open my heart in a way I've never done before and I hope you will get a lot of inspiration to the season that's coming. But now we jump back to Iceland and our rainy moment at Geysir. Okay, we got in the worst <laughs> rainstorm and it's dripping from our hair <laughs> and we are soaked. <laughs> so we need, we, we were very far away from the car so we had to start running but it was too late. So everything is soaked, the cameras, the lenses, everything. So we need to cancel. <laughs> the recordings for today and go back to the hotel and uh, change clothes. This is a very common problem in Iceland. And now we stopped raining. Hi and welcome to Jalparfoss. This is a waterfall that not many tourists find, so this is a very good one and I can highly recommend it. It has two falls and it's really beautiful with a little beach and you can sit down and take your lunch or eat a snack. The water is blue and all the ashes you see here is from Hekla, the volcano Hekla. So it's very special and as you can see, not many tourists come here. So that's why it's a very good place to visit. If you don't have an expensive rain protection to your camera, you can just buy a regular plastic bag and use a zipper to close it at the lens. So this will work perfectly fine, and except if it's very heavy rain, then you should not take your camera out. But this will work. It's a little bit hard to, to see the picture, but it will work just fine.
important thing. Be patient, don't rush, take your time, look through the pictures and enjoy this beautiful view. The lagoon is a very popular place but very expensive and all adjusted to the tourists. If you want a more natural and genuine place, you should visit this place, the Secret Lagoon.
was really hard to pick out the favorites to show you from this trip because the episode is already very long, but I give you two more, okay. I suppose you can call horses a kind of a bird, so I don't want to shoot first. Okay, so I will photograph the horses instead, but since they are so far away, it's hard to get a close-up, but not when you have this lens. 